The first kill in Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 comes when three girls who are out camping try to contact Pooh and his friends and they actually end up contacting them and Pooh and his friend the owl kill them very brutally. First the owl impels one of the girls through the RV with a stick and it kills her instantly. Pooh then kills one of the girls who are trying to escape and he catches her by trapping her in a bear trap. She gets her leg impaled by a bear trap. And then he impales her head with the bear trap. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty good. The owl kills the last girl by bashing her head with a tree trunk. Those three kills were a nice way to start off the film. It's already way better than the last film, so we're off to a good start. After the title card, we see Chris in therapy talking about how he's feeling after everything he went through in the past year, as well as his brother who was kidnapped when they were both children. Three men go out hunting for Winnie the Pooh and his friends because they want revenge after they killed one of the guy's girlfriend. They find Piglet and shoot him in the head, just point blank. It wasn't even a good fight. They just straight up shot him. Then Pooh comes and bashes one of the guys in the head with a bat. Then the other friend accidentally gets shot in the head by his friend and Pooh slams the gun into one of the guy's head, killing him instantly. The guy that got shot in the head survived and he goes to the hospital with severe injuries on his face and head. When Chris goes back to his therapy session, he starts to have dreams of his memory when he was a child and the times he would play with Pooh and how naive he was as a child thinking he was having fun and being happy with Pooh but he was much darker than what he thought it was. He also got to see the moment his brother got kidnapped and had a revelation when he sees the person who kidnapped him. He believes he saw the face of the person who kidnapped him and he believes he's still out there and he's gonna go catch him. Let's see if he does. Three police officers investigate Pooh's home and Tigger catches them and kills them off screen. I really wish we could have seen those, but okay. Chris Vitz is the man who got shot in the head by his friend on accident. They talk and the man reveals that it was Pooh who killed his two friends and Chris tries to get more answers, but the man lays back down and doesn't answer any more questions. The owl attacks a man outside his home and vomits acid on his face, burning him. Then he stabs him in the head with his fingers. Uh, I guess it's, he's like Freddy Krueger? I don't know. Chris sees a strange man around the hospital and he thinks it's the same man he saw in his memory who kidnapped his brother. So he follows him and breaks into his home and asks him why he kidnapped his brother. He tells him the whole story. He tells him he worked for a doctor who liked doing experiments on children and he contracted this man to kidnap kids for his experiments. When Chris asks him if his brother's still alive, he tells him about all the genetic experiments the doctor did with the kids and the animals, like combining their genetics, causing them to turn into terrifying half-human, half-animal creatures. The doctor was so terrified of the creatures, killed them and buried them, but they escaped and crawled out of the ground. After he finishes telling Chris the whole truth, he shoots himself, like point blank, right in the head. Chris's friend gets attacked by Pooh, but she manages to escape. And when a police officer enters the house to catch Pooh, she gets choked by Pooh and he rips her arm off and kills her with it. Pooh heads over to Chris's parents' house and he kills his mother in a nice, brutal way by slamming her head on the knives that are in the dishwasher. It was nice, I liked it. Is it Golden Hammer worthy? We'll see. He then kills his father off screen, and which is pretty lame. If you show the mother, why not show the father? But whatever. He then kidnaps Chris's younger sister. Later, Pooh heads to a rave and goes on a rampage, killing so many people. Like too many to even count, it took me a while. And some of the people that escape die after Tigger and Pooh catch them and kill them all. Chris shows up and gets attacked by Tigger. Then he runs away for no reason. Like, why didn't Tigger just kill Chris then and there? He had the chance to kill Chris. After Pooh attacks and kills more people, he grabs a chainsaw and finds Chris. And they fight for a little bit until right as Pooh is about to kill Chris, he just stops and looks at his grave and gets very emotional and very sentimental remembering when he crawled out of the ground out of the grave it's pretty pointless and dumb and chris gets Pooh's attention by calling him billy and Pooh turns around because Pooh is chris's brother if you don't realize it bum 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 and chris tells Pooh he's sorry he didn't save him when he got kidnapped that it was all his fault 
and that he's sorry what happened to him and to release his sister but Pooh is not Billy anymore he's something more demonic and chokes him then Chris's friend comes to the rescue and saves him but Pooh then grabs her right when he's about to kill her by slamming her head on the chainsaw Chris gets his attention bashes an axe in his head then Chris finds his sister they go back home all happy and safe and Pooh is finally dead right but in the post credit scene Pooh is actually still alive turns out honey is not only good to eat but can put your head back together and bring you back to life so Pooh will return in Winnie the Pooh 3 blood and honey whatever we had 63 people die in Winnie the Pooh blood and honey 2 16 males 18 females and 21 unknown Pooh had the most kills out of the three monsters he had 45 kills Tigger had 13 kills and the owl only had three I know right pretty disappointing but whatever the golden hammer for the best kill goes to the girl at the rave getting her head decapitated with a bear trap it was a nice brutal kill with some nice slow motion very very much worth the golden hammer and the silver pistol for the worst kill goes to chris's father who died off screen all we hear is his screams of pain nothing else I mean, we saw his mother die, why not see his father? Now comment down on your favorite kills and if you've seen the movie and if you liked it or not, like and subscribe to Movie Gods to be a god. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.